verse 21, testifying both to the Jews and also to the Greeks, repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. A lot of missionaries, this is one of their most famous verse and their favorite verses to use because they want to please both sides. Because a missionary that is maybe sent out of America, maybe he's going to the Philippines or maybe to New Zealand. There's a lot of independent fundamental Baptist pastor missionaries from America in New Zealand. And whenever I talk to them, I say, hey, what, what do you think about salvation? What do you, you know, what do you have to do to be saved? And they'll, re they'll always just read this verse to you. They'll say, hey, I believe in repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. That's what they say. It's like, yeah, okay, but what do you mean by repentance? And you have to knuckle them down because they, they'll just quote you this verse because they want to please the repentance people and they want to please the faith alone people because they want to get money from both of them because all they care about is money. And there, there's this guy in Fokatane. I forget his name. Is it Lewis? Yeah, it's Pastor Lewis Howell, I think, of... Uh, I forget his church, Sunshine Baptist Church or something in Fokatane. And he, he's from America. I think he's been there for like 12 years or something. I talked to this other guy that went there and I was like, how many people you had saved this year? And it was like halfway through the year. He said one. One salvation in a, like half a year for a full-time missionary. They had, no, they had two full-time missionaries. They had the pastor and then this other guy, Wesley, guy, I forgot his name as well, his last name, but Wesley P Pittman, that's what his name was. Wesley Pittman and Lewis Howell are useless missionaries because they come all the way from the States to Fokatane, which is a receptive place to the gospel because there's a lot of poor Marys there. And it's a, it's a good place to go soul on it. They've had one saved. Yeah, that one saved wasn't even saved because they believe in repent of sins anyway. But one person for six months, for two full-time missionaries. What a joke. I mean, what, why are people, and that, it makes me mad when I hear stories and see people, missionaries like this, because they're getting all this money from America, and there's probably people putting money in the, in the offering for missions, and they might, they might not have you know, their restaurant meal that year because they put that money in toward a missionary that's doing nothing. Right. Yeah, and they're wasting their money. They think they're doing, doing the Lord's work. And now I believe if, if someone was doing that and they're truly saved and they'll put in the money thinking that it was going to a good cause, I'm sure God would bless them just because they thought, it, you know, they, thought they were doing a good job and stuff. But still, those people, you know, they, they need to be cut you know, all money towards them because of the fact that they get no one saved. Number one, they actually preach a false gospel anyway of repentance of sin. But that, that's what they'll quote about this. I, I, I believe that Weasley guy, this is what he told me. He said, repentance towards God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. That's what I believe you have to do to be saved. I was like, okay, what does repentance mean? And he wouldn't answer me. Why? Because he probably wanted money from me as well. well he wasn't going to get it. And, and whenever they say this verse, it, I, I just know straight away, you're just trying to please both sides. They, you want the repentance people to give you money. You want the faith alone people to give you money. But the thing is, when it says repentance towards God, what are you doing? You're changing your mind because that's what repent means. You're changing your mind about the gospel and you have what? Faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. I had to explain that to a girl I was giving the gospel to today. She thought that you had to repent of your sins. And I said, look, I showed her that God repented in the Bible. So therefore, repent of, you know, it doesn't mean you have to repent of your sins because God repented. He got no sins to repent of. But they, they just want to add repent and then they add of sins on the end of it, which is not found in the Bible anywhere. But I said, look, you have to change your mind about, you know, you working your way to heaven and change it and put all your faith and trust on Jesus. I think she, got, she started crying after that. I don't know why, but she did. She didn't get saved, but she understood it. But she still was too prideful to admit that it was only faith alone on Christ. But these people, they, 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 when, they, when you hear that, if you ask someone and they say, I believe in repentance towards God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ, you know that they probably uh, repent of sins.